I can't drive. I know, I know, that's so embarrassing. How come a 17-year-old doesn't have their driver's license, nonetheless a car? And in Las Vegas, you can't get anywhere without a car. Let me tell you, I can't get anywhere unless my mom, friend, or Uber takes me there. And in Las Vegas, public transportation is looked down upon and inconvenient. But in cities like Boston, New York, or Washington, D.C., public transportation is cool and convenient, and it actually reduces carbon emissions. In fact, taking public transportation reduces carbon emissions by up to 45% compared with driving. The point of this speech and this antidote is to illustrate the overhaul that the Las Vegas and American public transportation system requires and how, with the help of youth, reform can combat climate change. In this speech, I'll be telling you how that we can socially and physically mobilize the youth to combat climate change. My name is Sarah Park, and I'm a senior in high school. I created a 501c4 nonprofit called Gen Z for Green to educate the youth about the growing climate crisis and encourage more sustainable practices. I was initially inspired to take action after moving from California to Las Vegas, which is the fastest warming city in the nation. And with the peak of international movements for climate action in 2019, I then sought out youth activist groups like the Sunrise Movement. And currently, I'm co-hub coordinator of the Sunrise Movement, and last month, we participated in the Global Day of Climate Action, in which we hosted a strike at the federal courthouse and organized demonstrations across four schools. Now, the ultimate aim of these actions and demonstrations are to lead to systemic shifts of decarbonization and investments in local opportunities like public transportation. In my years of activism, despite what the statistics tell you, I found that it is quite difficult to convince the youth of climate change if they don't want to acknowledge it. At my school, when I hosted a rally for climate action, someone said, how are you combating climate change if you're holding a paper sign? Yeah. But nearly a third of young people put climate change as one of their top three priority issues when deciding who to vote for for president, according to Tufts Center for Civic Learning and Engagement. Despite this dichotomy, it's clear that the youth put such importance on climate change when deciding who to vote for because they are optimistic that lawmakers will take action. But in Las Vegas, the fastest warming city in the nation, there isn't nearly as much action being undertaken that is parallel to the growing climate crisis. And efforts that do, don't do much to serve the public or the environment are being called good for the environment or public transportation. An example of this is the Tesla underground tunnel, which doesn't do much to serve Vegas locals, which is counterintuitive to the goal of public transportation. It's a private good, not a public one, and Las Vegas should invest in a more comprehensive citywide public transportation option. And although the Tesla tunnel is a step in the right direction, it isn't nearly as wide scoping, or, nor does it cover enough distance for it to be considered an efficient public transportation system. And the youth is catching on to efforts like this and are aiming to hold politicians accountable. And organizations like the Sunrise Movement has revolutionized the talk around climate politics. We have changed the conversation from being satisfied that politicians undertake climate change as an issue to holding them accountable to do something. Because the youth will be the ones who inherit the earth and we refuse to accept a future that is already determined for us. A future that will be devastated by the fumes of pollution if we don't act now. So that is why we need a comprehensive citywide public transportation option. Now, if the inconvenience of the Las Vegas public transportation system isn't enough of a reason for you to believe in reform, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, transportation accounts for 27% of total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions, making it one of the largest contributors to total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. This is especially relevant in Las Vegas, as a recent study from Clever Real Estate said that compared to 29 other major metropolitan cities, Las Vegas ranked last in public transportation. So, having an efficient public transportation system isn't just a convenience, it will also help fight climate change. Now, although Las Vegas does need reform, this isn't just exclusive to Las Vegas. A majority of European Union countries finance a majority of national level public infrastructure, whereas the United States only invests in 25% of public infrastructure. So the United States as a whole should also reform public transportation. 
The importance of an efficient public transportation system cannot be understated, as this would help mitigate climate change. Furthermore, a lack of transportation is an issue that disproportionately impacts people of color who do not have access to public transportation. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, again, transportation is the largest contributor to, cli to climate disrupting emissions and pollution that disproportionately impacts people of color and lower income communities. So a lack of transportation is also a transportation justice issue. There is already legislation proposed to solve this issue, such as the Green New Deal, which includes provisions for public transportation, zoning laws that push walkability, and carbon-free transportation options. But Sarah, how does this even impact the youth? I'm glad you asked. So public transport mode share peaked in the 15 to 19 age group. In this age group, people have more independence, may need to travel longer distances for school or work, or may not be able to afford or access other means of transportation. So do youth rely on transportation, public transportation, as a means of transporting themselves? So the youth are intrinsic in the fight for transportation justice, which is again linked to climate justice. And that connection is exactly how we can mobilize the youth, both physically and socially, to combat climate change. Thank you.